Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Easter DIY video. Excuse the really rushed intro. It's only when I was editing this video that I've realised I didn't actually film an intro. So what I've done is I've taken some bunny clip art images that I found on Google and then I've used Publisher to kind of resize them to exactly the size I wanted. I wanted them smaller than 4x6 because I am making some photo frames in this video. So then I've printed them off. And what I did is I just recolored them because they were sort of black or dark brown and I've just recolored them to be like a like a pale color just to not waste on any of my ink and I'm just going to cut these out and then I'll explain what I'm going to do with them. Nobody told me to settle Okay, so I've cut out loads of these little bunny shapes and then you have sort of two options. You could cut out some shapes from a pad like this where all of the papers are different. Or I do have some of these pads from the range where obviously the pattern goes across the whole paper. So I'm going to start with one of these. And I've got some Poundland frames which I'm just going to reach for. And these are 4 by 6 and this is what I'm going to be using make the little images so I need to cut my paper down to four by six I think I'm gonna go for this zigzag print I was debating between this one and the striped one let's have a little look oh might stand out better on this one now I'm gonna go zigzag that was my first thought. Let's go for this one. And I want another copy, another paper. For the other ones. Mm. Oh, this one. So let me trim those ones down. So once I was happy with the card that I'd cut, I decided to start gluing the rabbits on. Now I couldn't be bothered really to cut double sided tape to fit all around the bunny tail and the bunny's ears. So I found these Nouveau glue pens I've had in my sash for ages and that's what I used to glue them down. The next step was to decide what to do for the rabbit's tails. Now originally I was going to use pom-poms, but the pom-poms I have are just a little bit too small. So what I did is I had a little hunt through my stash and found these foam flowers that I bought from AliExpress. Well the white ones with the tool on them are from a charity shop, but all the coloured ones are from AliExpress. So I started having a little play around and decided to hot glue some of those as the rabbit's tails instead. And I really, really love how this has turned out. Now 
I started working with the small bunnies that I printed that were jumping through the air. So in my mind I had a vision for this one and I wanted three bunnies jumping through the air and I wanted them on pastel backgrounds. So I pulled out a back to basics paper pad and pulled out three papers that I liked from that. And I started trimming them down to four by six. And then I used that same Nouveau pen to put glue on the back of the bunnies and stick them to the papers. But once I'd finished, I just it wasn't enough for me. On the previous papers, because the backgrounds were glittery, or slightly glittered, I thought they were quite interesting, whereas I found these ones a little bit boring. So then I went back to my stash and pulled out a clear, like a crystal white glitter. And then I used that same glue pen and I glued all over the front of the bunny rabbits and then poured the white glitter over the front. So it's a really subtle difference, but one that I think makes all the difference. We keep on talking from body to body, yeah. Getting closer to just being nothing else. Uh, I'm a sucker for your love. To finish these three rabbits, I took three pom-poms from my stash. I took a light blue one, a light pink one, and I would have loved it if I had a pale green one, but I didn't, so I went with a white one on the final one, and I just used a little bit of hot glue to stick them down. Then I just started arranging the different pictures into some photo frames. I didn't love the picture in the middle, so I wrote out Hoppy Easter in like a Ray Dunn inspired font, just using a black Sharpie, and then used one of my die cuts upstairs to cut it out, like a scalloped circle one, which is from the works. And then I just added a little bit of white glitter around the outside and glued that to the picture in the middle. And I just think that it looks so much better with this. Getting closer to just being nothing else. Okay, so I have finished my Poundland home decor type frames and I did some different things in each. So let me share these ones first. So as I say, these were two for one pound from Poundland. You can get them in white, black and grey I believe. And I printed off these little bunny silhouettes. I did flip it on publisher. Used this paper is from the cardboard patterns from Deco Time, which I picked up in the range a long time ago. I really like the size of these papers. They're six inches, or just under six inches tall, but obviously they're quite wide, so that works really nicely. And I was gonna put pom-poms on the little bunnies' tails, and then the only pom-poms I've got are really quite small. So then I found, well I didn't find, I went and got my little box of all these little foam flowers, but I couldn't decide between peach or pink. So I actually did one of each on this little bunny rabbit. And I like, I do like a bit of symmetry, like if you've seen any sort of my house tours, I tend to put things in pairs. I know technically you're supposed to do things in threes when you decorate, but I really like pairs. So yeah, I really, really like those ones. And these are just hot glued on. To stick the card, I've just been using this Nouveau glue pen because I can't find any of my tape runners or print sticks basically. So it's a glue pen. So I did that set. And then I did another similar set. Now they're not both in frames because I actually ran out. But here's a handy tip that I now realise. I probably should have put the paper in the frame before sticking the rabbit on, purely because this looked really central on the paper, but now that it's stuck down, you can see it's a little bit too far to the left. So I'm probably not gonna use these two as home decor. I'm actually gonna take this one out of the frame in a minute. And what I might do is turn these into little Easter cards, because if I just back this on a slightly maybe on a five by seven card blank and just trim it down slightly just so it's got that little white border that would make a really beautiful Easter card maybe with just a little happy Easter sentiment on the top or even inside to be fair so that's what I might do with those I might turn these ones into cards and maybe remake these I'm not sure and then these I didn't think were going to be my favorites but I think they might be so I've used back to basics papers for these ones so I used six by six bright spark papers and I used this one this one and the blue zigzag paper like this so I cut them down by to four by six and this time I cut 
the silhouettes of a bunny jumping and it didn't really stand out very much so as you'll see from the as you'll have seen from the video I actually went over the little bunny rabbits with the Nuvo glue pen and then what I did was use this deco art glamour dust crystal white glitter I'm not sure where I picked this up I feel like this might have been the range but I could be wrong for that one and I really like it. it's just got a really subtle shimmer so obviously I haven't put the glass on top of these the glass is behind each of the papers so it's just plain paper with little glittered rabbits jumping through the sky and then I did use different pom-poms on each of these the flowers would have just been a little bit too big for the size of rabbit um, I wish I'd had like a little pale green one because obviously that's blue that's pink a pale green one would have looked really pretty but I had to go with the colors that I've got and then this one just looks a bit too plain because it's higher up in the sky than the others and I wanted this one to be kind of the focal piece so I didn't do this on camera because I didn't actually think it would work the first time but I kind of I've been watching a lot of videos recently that everybody in America seems to be buying Ray Dunn things which you just can't really get over here so I tried to write in a sort of Ray Dunn style font which actually worked out a little bit better than I anticipated I think it's just my O I need to work on and the gap between the H and the O so I wrote Hoppy Easter instead of Happy Easter and then just used it was just on a scrap of white card just used one of my favorite dies to cut it out and then I did just glitter glitter the edge of that so I think in hindsight if I knew I was going to do that I probably would have stuck the bunny rabbit even a little bit higher but I'm really really happy with these I'm not sure exactly where they're going to go but I think they've just got sort of the, the look that I was going for I didn't want anything too fancy but I just wanted some little homemade photo frames to dot about so as I say now I need to sort of find places for these you know it's not a crafty little Amy craft without adding bling anywhere and I haven't put any bling on here and I think I'm going to leave them for now because sometimes you can add a bit too much can't you I did wonder about finding some other little mini flowers and having like a cluster of flowers here or like you could even have little flowers like a little crown at the top couldn't you you could do all sorts of bits but yeah I think I'm going to leave them as they are display them and then if I'm looking at them thinking that's a little bit boring I can always add to them at a later date so those are the frames that I used from Poundland I've showed you all the cards these are just hot glued as well because it was the easiest way to attach the pom-poms and yeah I'm really happy with these please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already I've got a few other Easter crafts to do this year as well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.